What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. I'm trying to make these videos shorter, so join me today in taking a look back at Thresh's release to find out what Thresh could have been. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and let's begin. So Thresh was designed by Certainly T and was released on January 23rd, 2013, which was during the preseason before season three officially started. And although she wasn't exactly a direct source for Thresh's development, part of the canceled champion Kamachi were probably big inspirations for bits and pieces of Thresh's design. Kamachi was this scythe-wielding tank sort of character, kind of like a Grim Reaper sort of champion almost, so Thresh used a little bit of that Grim Reaper aesthetic from her, along with a couple bits of Riot's ideas for her kit design. Kamachi was meant to be sort of like this zone control tank who would kind of confuse people around her with stuff like slowing zones or being able to push or pull people around, and she had a really cool Event Horizon type cage ability that would transport people from one side of the cage to the other if they touched it. So if you ended up inside of it, you would pretty much just get trapped inside of it until it expired, and if you were on the outside, you could use it as kind of like a mini mobility spell, actually. And we put up a little bit more of an in-depth video on Kamachi a while back, so you can definitely just check that out if you want to learn more about her. But for now, the biggest takeaways that Thresh got from Kamachi were really that she inspired the design for Thresh's E and for Thresh's Ultimate today, since it gives them some nice zone control, and of course the ability to push or pull enemies around. We can see from the early concept arts of Thresh that in terms of his visual appearance, he really didn't change all that much actually from his early design up until his release. In fact, his original design led certainly T to see him as kind of like a tanky looking fighter character because he had these sharp weapons and kind of like this intimidating sort of feel almost, and that caused certainly T to originally start developing Thresh to be what was a solo top laner or a jungler instead at the start, which definitely would have been a big difference from what we're familiar with today for Thresh. The whole support angle actually came about through Riot Zilius, who mentioned kind of like in passing that from the concept art, Thresh looked like he might actually just make a cool support, and this kind of put like the idea, you know, the wheels spinning in certainly T's head, and of course two weeks later he was playtesting a new kit for the new support Thresh. But with the idea that he would actually be able to play all three roles, meaning that his kit worked in top jungle and support and was just super overloaded and extremely overpowered. And some of the things we do know about how different his kit was at this point was that his W was still his lantern ability, but it also had extra effects outside of being clickable for allies to save them or sort of bring them into the fight. For example, originally Thresh's lantern created like this fiery damage over time zone around the lantern, which was actually amazing for wave clear or just jungling, and it also dealt a very nice amount of damage to enemy champions as well, but the thing is, is that because it was kind of like this big source of free damage, you'd never really use it on your allies, which resulted in the ability being fairly unintuitive because it just became a straight up offensive tool. So a new version was created to try and convince people to use it on their allies. And this new version of the lantern ability worked by causing any ally that would touch the lantern to leave a trail of soul fire behind them that dealt damage over time, kind of like the poison trail from Singed. So this would give kind of like a mini rumble ultimate effect almost along the line that an ally would travel between the lantern and Thresh himself. Another attempt of redesigning the lantern actually gave his ally this insane buff, where if an ally stood in the lantern that Thresh threw out, they would get this maximum percent HP damage and lifesteal, kind of like a Blade of the Ruin King almost. And this version of his lantern was of course still while trying to make Thresh work as a top laner and a jungler, so it really came together to make his kit super overpowered. The lantern shield concept actually came about after one of the playtests for Thresh, where Riot Koronak brainstormed with certainly T, and they came up with the idea for it. So the idea was that if an ally was in need of being saved, giving them like a brief shield might give them time to decide, you know, oh yeah, I can click the lantern, or maybe I can't, or it gives your ally enough time to make the decision. And this was a really big step in the direction towards making Thresh a support champion but it also had way more aggressive options than anticipated in terms of putting a shield on it. Like the thing is, if you want to engage with the lantern, then the little shield actually gives them the chance to engage and soak up a bit of damage that they would have taken in the process otherwise, and it actually does result in a pretty decent amount of offensive capabilities, and this version of the lantern finally found the right balance between the aggressive and defensive capabilities that certainly T was looking for, and of course it kind of just made the most sense for the duo lane where you want to work together and can time your engagements really well. 
Another ability we know about that existed during Thresh's development was one of the older versions of his ultimate, which was used on, of course, the support version, before they decided to take inspiration from Kamachi's cage. So Thresh's ultimate actually used to be this targeted buff that you could cast on an ally that would turn them into an avatar of undeath, which basically made them into like a ghosty kind of dude. It would give them like a ton of attack speed, a ton of ability power, a ton of attack damage, but it also gave them 60% cooldown reduction and removed the CDR cap, so they could go even higher, and of course, it's stacked with items. So a good comparison would be maybe something like Anna's Nano Boost in Overwatch, if you've seen that ability, which essentially just turns an ally into a god for a really short period of time, and considering it just completely removed the cooldown reduction cap, it pretty much would make the ally stronger than they would be in Earth, which really kind of just blows my mind to imagine happening in a real game. Like imagine having 100% CDR on some abilities or something. And although that was kind of like the initial design, they of course eventually, you know, realized that it was very overpowered right off the bat and toned it down a little bit to where it would just increase your CDR cap to 60% and give you 20% cooldown reduction. And that was the major version that they actually tested of the ultimate and the one that was in much more contention for actually being put onto Thresh's kit. And apparently that version where it would still give, you know, the crazy attack damage, attack speed, ability power, and 20% cooldown reduction, increasing your CDR cap to 60% apparently wasn't all that powerful when it was tested actually, which is maybe a little bit surprising, but unlike Anna's nano boost ability in Overwatch, it didn't give you any damage reduction, so the ulted target was probably just really easy to just focus down and burst down quickly if you landed like a really strong piece of crowd control and you just burst them down, and overall that sort of buff effect really isn't all that satisfying on an ultimate especially, when you consider the fact that as if it's not super broken, it's kind of just maybe okay or maybe balanced, that type of ability just really wouldn't be all that fun to play with as a support champion honestly, and abilities that are only usable on allies are kind of just I don't wanna say bad, but they're definitely a lot less fun to play with in general because it would essentially mean that Thresh only really had three basic abilities when an ally wasn't around, maybe even two, honestly, if you kind of count his lantern being bad by itself. So it just made it so that it was too difficult for Thresh to make plays by himself, and that was something that they didn't like, and so they eventually took the inspiration from Kamachi came up with the original version of his ultimate, and that just about wraps up what we know about Thresh's development history. Honestly, certainly T really killed it with Thresh, and he managed to fix one of, if not the actual biggest issue that players had with the support role overall. They just weren't really that fun to play until Thresh came along for a lot of people, and you know, for a lot of a good portion of the community, Thresh just completely revolutionized the support role, and Riot's done a pretty okay job with the support role since Thresh, doing all these cool re works, new champions like Bard, and all sorts of stuff. So they definitely learned a lot of important things during Thresh's design that really trickled down to later champions. And honestly, Thresh has been probably one of the most impactful champions in terms of just revolutionizing the way that players approach the game. And he's a really awesome piece of work, and I'm really happy that certainly T designed him and put him into the game. Anyway, looks like that's gonna be it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.